What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Today, we're going to be discussing the uh, Super Boss variations this time around. We just uploaded the video with the 10 star difficulty normal Kizuna bosses. Now I'll show you guys the initial teams that I have for this Super Boss, but of course, as things progress, we'll probably update these teams and I may upload additional clips for you guys showing additional teams that can get the job done. So of course, versus the Int variation, we're going to have to deal with um, a couple of different things, but nothing too crazy. You see Stage 2 here, all of the Stage 2 bosses have 1.5 million HP, so it's actually not that crazy. One thing to note though, is that when you actually kill this boss, you're given a 1.75 color affinity boost and we offset that with the Vivi support on Snake Man so that we have a color affinity boost when Sugar dies so we don't get that bad color affinity boost because we can abuse the Legend Odin special. Legend Odin will give us a color affinity boost, but he also says if we're below 50%, we get a 95% damage reduction effect. And with Yamato, we can abuse the damage reduction based attack boost, getting a 1.95 additional bonus that you would not be receiving otherwise. So we're able to get a pretty big damage bonus just due to that, and we have both conditionals. We are using a friend Captain Nami with level 5 Super Tandem, and this team does crazy things, and just with 3 taps alone, we can reach 28 billion damage. So it only goes to show how far this team will take us uh, in this Kizuna. It's going to be pretty monumental, I would think. Also, one thing that is very noteworthy is that this boss does not actually become a super type character and does not have a full immunity. So you can actually use a full quick team with Robin and a super type, super tandem, Shanks, whatever it's called. You can use a full quick team and use Shanks super type to transform this character into a strength character, which is something that we haven't seen in a super boss before. Typically, super bosses always turn into super type. However, two of the bosses in this in the super boss Kizuna do not actually become super type. So that's interesting. It leaves the door open for some interesting team builds down the line. Moving on to the second super boss variation, we have versus quick, into quick decks receive cooldown, and once again on battle 2 we have a 1.5 million HP mob boss, which is not really that hard to beat. But after one turn has passed, so you have obviously two different ways to beat it, you can either pass a turn and tank the paralysis with Nami's captain ability, or alternatively if you kill the boss, your captain receives 99 turns of special charge, but also you receive 2 times color affinity boost. So with this team here, we're actually going to tank the color affinity, we want the 2 times color affinity that they're providing for us, because we have so many different characters on the crew that we actually don't have room for our own color affinity, so we're just going to abuse the one that they give us, which is a 2 times affinity, which is fine, you know, it's still a two times boost at the end of the day but in this team we have a lot of damage going on we've got the two conditionals with nami robin we have the white beard which is providing us with a chain boundary effect and also we needed a striker in order to activate nami super tandem my nami super tandem is only at level one which is why we do have that white beard on the crew alternatively if we had her at level five we probably would be replacing white beard with something else uh, of course we have yamato with her amazing attack boost luffy for the orb boosting effect and then we have you know obviously the super tandem of Nami buffing both conditionals and also giving an additional buff, but also having the Straw Hat Pirates as a friend captain, meaning that we <laughs> we can actually just abuse their final tap as well. I think this team is going to do a pretty good amount of damage toward this fight. I don't know, I don't know how much this team is going to do with level one Super Tandem on Nami, but it's definitely going to do a lot, no doubt about that. Especially because you can get the versus effect of Yamato, which can give you the additional 1.6 damage increasing effect so it's a really fun team nonetheless i don't know if this is going to be my final team moving forward for the rest of the kizuna however
Now we get to talk about the final boss, which is versus Sai, and this is once again another boss that is not going to become super type and also does not have full immunity. So you can actually use Super Tandem Shanks to transform this character into strength and then abuse characters such as the new Uta or you know, um, Robin, the new Robin from the New Year's Sugo Fest. You can run a lot of interesting stuff on this fight, which I may be building a team towards right now. I'm not really too sure exactly what I'm going to use, but I am thinking about a couple different ways to go about that. Now, on Battle 2, there's another really low HP boss, but you can do, do two different things. If you kill the boss, you receive a 2.75 times attack boost. If you just pass the turn, you get hit with three turns of paralysis and six turns of despair, which is pretty annoying. Uh, and then on the boss stage, there's also one turn of attack down that you will also have to try and find a way to mitigate. But overall, it's uh, there's not actually a lot going on because normally you should be killing this boss. They, they want you to use Kaido nonetheless. If you kill the boss, you get a low attack boost or a 2.75 attack boost isn't low, but you can get better than that. And then Kaido would just remove the attack boost that the enemy would give you. So depending on your team composition, you may want to tank the hit on stage two. You may want to defeat the enemy to receive the buff and then go from there, just depending on what kind of team you aim to run here. But these are just my initial teams currently for the, obviously the new uh, Super Boss Kizuna versus Doflamingo. If you guys have your own team compositions that you want to share with the rest of the community, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.